It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post by review for Javante Tank Davis versus Rolando Roli Romero. And the result of the fight is a Javante Davis sixth round stoppage. Now, while the result is a result that many people had, Tank stopping Roli with inside six rounds, um... The route in which we got there was a lot different than um, most people would assume if they're being honest with them. Most people expect it if they're being honest with themselves. Like, <sighs> credit to Tank. Like, Tank, Javante Davis showed today he was a smarter fighter, he was a better fighter. He gets all the credit in the world. We won't take nothing from him or throw salt on his name. But he shown vulnerabilities in his last two fights against Roley and, and, and um, Isak Cruz. I mean, the fight with him and Roley actually turned out to be a lot more tactical uh, than I could have imagined it being. You know, two fighters who talked all that shit and then it became a tactical, patient chess match, so to speak, uh, where Roley at the end of round one landed a counter right hand flush on Tank. Um, you know, round two, he lands another right counter right hand right on the button of Tank and, and Tank didn't like it and starts, you know, flailing around and, and trying to hold him and stuff. Um, and, it, and it was a fight where, you know, you had Roley, a very, very, like I said, unconventional gunslinging type of boxer, uh, does a lot of things that are not by the book. Um, and he got away with it for five rounds um, with the feints, the weird herky-jerky movements and things like that. And really, like, to be honest... He was winning that fight. He was winning. You could say he was winning 3-1. Some people were saying he's winning. He won 4 nothing, But he was winning that fight. Make no mistakes about it. Roley was outboxing Javante Tank Davis before that knockout. And um, he made a, a big cardinal mistake towards the end of round six where uh, because there was, there was a combination he threw in round three. In round three, it, and it landed, he threw the straight right hand. He inverted the one-two. So he threw the two-one, right? But he kind of he, he kind of came with the two around the guard, right? He threw the same combination again, except uh, this time it didn't land. The first punch didn't land. And then when he when he uh, when he went to go throw the right hand, right? When, when, when he went to go throw, um, no, it was a two-one. So it was the it was yeah the two. Yeah, when he went to go throw, throw the second punch, well, at, when he threw the first punch, my bad, when he threw the first punch, he fell off balance and he squared up. He squared up and made himself a bigger target for Tank to hit. And, and, and he fell off balance and he was kind of like going a little bit forward. So he, he, pretty much, he pretty much did all the work for Tank. And, uh, you know, the way Roley, the way Roley was saying that uh, he was going to run into Tank into something because he's stupid, that's actually what happened to him in reverse, you know. Um, so look, he got caught with a big-ass shot. Not a big shot, but a, but a precise shot, and that's boxing. But I think, you know, if we're being honest here, um, Roley's stock should actually go up after that fight because, you know, people didn't think he would win as many rounds as he won against Tank. Now, as far as Tank, he wins the fight. He shows the mark of a... He's, he, Javante Davis has actually been showing in his last two fights the mark of a really good fighter because, to me, the mark of a really good fighter is when you don't perform at your best, when you don't give your A plus best performance. Can you can you as a fighter still find a way to get results? And in the last fight against Cruz, he broke his hand. He outboxed him, he found a way to get a result um, in a close fight. This fight he fought Roley um, and he 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 overextended on a punch and he hurt himself again. I'm sure he was in pain, but but he had the patience and the veteran savvy to wait it out, and he got a result. So, you know, I, I give Tank credit for that because performance performance wise, today he was very pedestrian. But the result is ultimately what matters. You know, boxing, like, like I say, it's a it's a not a performance based business. It's a it's a results based business. And if you're out here, you can you can fight like shit for ten rounds, four rounds, five rounds, like he did. But if you land that money shot and you had that great equalizer in the in the sixth and final in, in the sixth round. Then that's all people are gonna remember. That's all most people are gonna remember. You know, 14 days from now, um, when there's another fight happening, you know, like when we have Cambosis Haney or another fight going on in boxing, 
and we think about this fight, when most people think about this fight, they're not gonna think about how, you know, Roley landed a, a good counter right hand at the end of the first round. They're not gonna think about how Roley uh, was making Javante Davis very uncomfortable in the, in the second, third rounds, uh, or the fourth round as well. They're, they're not gonna think about none of that. All they're gonna think about is that beautifully timed, precise, straight, sharp left hand that landed upside Roley's head and, uh, and stopped him, you know? So there, there, there's been some arguments about whether or not the, the stoppage was premature, whether it wasn't. Personally, for me, I think in a fight like this with, with so much buildup, with so much anticipation, with so much trash talk, um, I would have really liked to see, uh, you know, Roley go out on his shield. You know, I know, I know that might sound harsh, but, but like, Roley should have been afforded the chance to, to, to fight his way back into the fight. Maybe he would have, um, who knows, maybe he would have survived the sixth round. Um, and then we built himself and who knows, maybe we have a different fight, but we don't live in a, we don't live in a, in a, in a world of ifs. He, he got parked, he lost. Um, but you know what? I think for, for, for a fighter with less than 15 fights to fight a guy of the caliber of a Javante Davis and, and look how he looked, um, you know, and, and frustrating the way he did early on in the fight for, for almost half the fight. Cause they fought almost half the fight, six rounds, you know, uh, he just got to it's good for him. It's good for him that things play out the way they did. Um, because now he can go to the gym and work on some things. But Tank Davis, you know, credit to him. Hopefully for his sake now, he can get the big fights that us boxing fans uh, have been yearning for. You know, like the fights against uh, Ryan Garcia. The fights against uh, Shakur Stevenson. The fights against, um, you know, uh, whoever. Tiafima Lopez, if he comes back and, and he wants some smoke. Uh, anybody, just anybody with a big name, Lomachenko, that's been a fight that's been talked about for years. Maybe if Cambosos, the winner of Cambosos Haney, either one of them. You know, there's a lot of fights out there for Javante Davis. He's a star. He's matured a lot. You know, he wasn't like, if you look at his post-fight uh, interview, he wasn't like uh, throwing salt on Roley or nothing, nothing like that. But um, he's matured a lot, and he's maturing right before our eyes into a, into, a, into a really good fighter. And hopefully for his sake, you know, he continues to get better and go to the gym. Because uh, the fights, are all, I would anticipate that the fights are only going to get tougher, you know, because like, look, there's no way in hell PBC, right? I mean, there's no way in hell PBC can shun the idea of fighting Ryan Garcia or the idea of fighting Shakur Stevenson or the idea of fighting Lomachenko just to put Tank in fights against Frank Martin, Michelle Rivera, and Ryan Valenzuela. There's, there's no way. There's no way because I'm telling you this, if we get another two years of like Ryle Valenzuela and Frank Martin and, and Michel Rivera, like no disrespect to any of those fighters. Like um, I like them all, I'm fans of all of them, but we don't, we, 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 we're getting sick of it. We need Tank Davis to get those big fights so that he can, you know, show the world just how great he is. And, and, and we wanna see him in, with another top guy, another big name, Ryan Garcia, Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson, Cambosas, Haney, the winner of that fight, you know. So that's what it is, man. But ultimately, look, look, look. great night for boxing. Um, Roley, Roley got knocked out. Tank uh, continues the gravy, keeps the gravy train rolling. And um, that's just what it is. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What did you make of the fight? What did you make of the performance from Roley? And what did you make of Tank's performance or lack thereof? Um, give me your per perspective on that in the comments down below. Uh, where does both fighters go from here? What do you want to see from having for Roley next? You know, so I had a, a guy on my live suggest that maybe Roley should fight Chris Colbert because he lost two. Maybe that could be a fight to look into for PBC. It's an easy fight to make. I'm sure Roley will, will, will love that fight because Chris Colbert um, talked a lot of shit and talked a lot of shit about him. So I'm sure he'd love that fight. But yeah, what's next for him? Will Tank finally get the massive fights that that will validate him as the star that Leonard Ella B and Mayo the Promotions have been selling him as? for all these years, you know, let me know that all that in the comments down below, you know, thank you to everybody who, who came on a lot, who, who watched the live, uh, the support was just absolutely ridiculous, the channel is growing, so I'm, I'm very appreciative for you guys uh, supporting what I have going on here, and we have a lot of great things coming up, coming up on the channel, me, me and Pops are going to the Better BF Joe Smith Jr. fight on um, June 18th, so any of my New York viewers, subscribers, if you're in New York City, hit me up, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you got me on, hit me up and yeah, we'll link up. But yeah, on that note, you guys take care.
Give me your thoughts down below. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.